I am doing is hanging out with beauty queens. And this is, see, this is what I love my job. You know what I mean? Because when do you get to talk to three beautiful women that are going to talk about what they do for the community and what they're doing and their involvement with our Tampa Bay area and Hernando County and Pasco County and all that kind of stuff. So I want to turn it over to you, uh, Bethany. Bethany, I'm not going to turn it over to you, Bethany, Miss Gasparilla. I'm going to let, you know what, I'm going to let everybody introduce themselves so I can get the name straight again, and then we'll start. How does that sound? Okay, well, I'm Melinda. I'm the director of the pageants. Okay, great. So. Melinda? I'm Bethany, and I'm Miss Gasparilla 2007. Wonderful. 2007. That lasts until when? Like December? January. January. 13th. Okay, and? And Tiffany. I'm Tiffany, Miss Hernando County. All right, wonderful. I got to ask, what did you guys like, you know, world peace or something like that when you were up there doing your thing? <laughs> no? Because you have, you have the total, like, beauty pageant. I am Tiffany, but it was perfect. It was, like, the right voice, everything. I don't know if it was the bad speakers or not. All right, tell us a little bit about the competition. Tell us a little bit about the, the Miss Gasparilla pageant. Well, um, it's a pretty big event, and we have um, age divisions from, like, infants all the way up through misses, like, married ladies. So it's a pretty, pretty widespread age Married group. ladies? Yeah, believe it or not, we had quite a few last year. It's pretty cool. Um, it starts at like 12 o'clock, and we go through like the babies go first. We have like the little children's pageant, and then we have like the big event, which is like the teens and the misses. Sure. And, well, there's like, a few different costume changes. We're having talent this year, and so wow. it's really cool. And since the pageant is uh, the week before the parade this year, we have like a big float the next weekend. We have to ride it out. It's really cool. And the the winners will be announced for the float and everything, yes. and they'll be all on the float doing their thing. You yep. got to do it last year. No, yeah. we didn't actually do the float last year. Oh, so, so you're, are you going to be on it this, on this year, year as like the, you know, yes. all right, and both of you will be on the float. Yeah, oh, Tiffany, you got to work your way on the float there, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, so tell us when it is. Okay, so it's the weekend before the Gasparilla Parade. It's January 13th good. at the Western Harbor Island Hotel. Okay, good. So. That's wonderful. And uh, we went over some categories and... How do, how do contestants enter this? Because you know it's a big dream for people to be, you know, winners of a, of a pageant, you know what I mean? Because it means that you're, you know, you got your act together, that you're beautiful, and that you've got some, you know, sort of talent that you're adding this year, that kind of stuff. And people are recognizing that, and that's not a bad thing, right? That feels good sometimes, doesn't it? Definitely. Yeah. Well, how do people get involved with that so they can share that same kind of feeling, hopefully, and win, maybe, or be at least a part of the organization? Because you probably met some great friends there. You probably yes. met camaraderie and all that. Well, like, everyone's welcome to enter. There are really no qualifications, so it's, it's open to anyone and everyone. Yeah. And so there, there are a lot of different categories. We give, like, a lot of optionals just so everyone is a winner. So, like, no one's left out. Everyone gets, like, a crown, sash, all that. So, like, everyone who enters walks away with something. So even, like, the younger kids, no one feels, like, discouraged afterwards. They've accomplished something. Right. So we reward everyone just for even being a part of it. And how, um, how necessarily, how is it judged, though? Is it judged by peers or is it judged by a panel? Oh, we have quite a few judges, and they're judged on like appearance or poise, and most of all, like their personality. So, which is important. Yes, it's very important. Like you could be with the most beautiful girl in the world, you show up there, with, you know, negative and stuck up. You know, you're not mm -hmm. going to do very well. So, we I'm really the greatest thing in the world. Yeah, so yeah. really embrace like you know, just being like you know, judged on your personality and just like you know, the inner beauty and everything. So now. You win, Miss Gasparilla. I'm going to throw this question to you. What have you done all year? Because I know Miss America, she's out there running around. She's got a schedule built like crazy. <laughs> well, my big thing is how can we make our environment beautiful? And I'm a teacher, so I incorporate into, in, that into my everyday teaching. I actually have an environmental club that I run, and we're actually working up to the Earth Day on April 22nd, doing monthly events with our school and each oh, classroom. Oh, cutting down trees and stuff like that, clearing land? <laughs> no. Oh, no, I'm sorry, wrong. <laughs> Rebuilding the forest. <laughs> oh, re I'm sorry, they're right, right, planting trees. Silly me. You know. Um, well, that's a wonderful thing. Have you enjoyed it? Uh, definitely, definitely. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Do you now, um, Ms. Hernando? Yes. Where is Hernando County? Well, it's around Pasco. Okay, it's if near Pasco. If you're familiar Pasco. with Pasco, um, it's right, right so there. It's north. Yes, it's north. Beautiful. Correct. All right. Now, what have you done up there? You, um, I mean, you're the one who should be planting trees, to be honest with you. <laughs> When you think yes. about it. Well, um, I actually am a resident of Pasco County, and I've been doing more work in Pasco. Um, unfortunately, I haven't had much in Hernando. As so far, I'm a member of the Rotary Club over there, and we've been um, working on various community projects. I'm the youngest member, actually, which is interesting. Well, and, yeah, that um, probably makes sense. I also I directed my own pageant recently, and that's pretty huge. That's big. That's yes. huge. That's great. Exposure and probably the passion... For the pageant came from being involved in things like this growing up, right? Was this your first one? Um, 
Um, actually, it's my first year competing, so I'm kind of new with all of this. Oh, that's wonderful. Bethany? Bethany? Yes, I knew that. Why are you sticking? Why are you sticking? All right. Um, Melissa? Melinda. Melinda. All right, I'm retiring. Okay, I give up. I'm done. I, I no longer am I go with names. I want to thank all of you for being here, and I want you to the greatest success. When is it again, the date? January 13th. And the information that people can get on the pageant, they can find where? At GasparillaPageant.com. GasparillaPageant.com. Does it get any easier than that? Nope. GasparillaPageant.com. Thank you so much. It's wonderful. I can see why everybody's judged on their personality and how you guys are all sitting at the table with crowns and with sashes. Congratulations, and we look forward to the predecessor of this year being equally as talented and as wonderful as you all. Thank you. All right? Thank you so much for joining us.